It's the morning of day three and uh, it was a very cold night last night, but I was warm in the tent. Um, Tristan's recommendation for sleeping bag, the Magma 20 from REI worked out really well. Um, the insulated sleeping pad kept me plenty warm. The ground right now is freezing. So uh, that was a really good call. And just a quick tour of the tent. There's my clothes bag, my camp shoes. Got my towel for when I clean up at the end of the day. And my backpack in here, but it doesn't have anything that a bear could get or want. And my trekking poles because apparently the marmots like to eat the sweat off the trekking poles and my charging station and my trowel for going to the bathroom and my water bottle and the water is almost freezing in there um, and then this is what it looks like outside so welcome to day three uh, Josh had recommended that I keep my Sawyer Squeeze uh, filter in my tent and actually in my sleeping bag, which I did. And uh, the idea is you want to keep it so it doesn't freeze up. And then I kept it in my sock, in my gloves. And so there it is. Sawyer Squeeze, nice and warm no freezing all right good night kevin make sure you put your water filter in your sleeping bag because if it doesn't you're definitely going to get giardio when it freezes tonight see you good, later good advice Upper Cathedral Lakes is one of my favorite spots on earth. What a morning. It's just perfect. So far we've crossed probably six or seven streams and no problems at all with getting across. Um, I'm sure that they're going to swell more as we go, but uh, these are beautiful. It seems like around every turn, you see something beautiful. Uh, I just took a turn out of coming from Cathedral, Upper Cathedral Lake to Tuolumne Meadows, and uh, this is where the path is leading. This is the next corner, about 200 yards from the last corner, and another peek into the Sierras. One of Kathleen's favorite things when we hike together is the sound of uh, rushing mountain water and babbling brooks. I'm thinking of you, Kath. Just crossed the highway. Entering the Tuolumne Meadows area now. Hoping to stop at the store if it's open. I love Tuolumne Meadows. It's so peaceful. I am so appreciative with every step. Just gonna take it all in. So thankful.
just slightly off the trail of the Soda Springs and uh, decided to just take a pack off break. Come up and see it. A big part of the JMT also includes the Pacific Crest Trail, but here in Tuolumne Meadows is where it splits off. All right, morning break, and we're joined by Sarah, our special guest. Sarah has the largest backpack I have ever seen, and we're debating about trail names for Sarah, but Sarah's got a company called what? Mappy Hour. And she, uh, she takes people from the city out to the country, so she's living the company motto. <laughs> How's it going, Harvey? Good. What you eating? I'm eating chips. Well, I can't wait to go to the store and get some junk food. Civilization. This is Lullaby, and we've been hiking together, well, not really together, but in the same general area. He is a superstar. How many times have you hiked this trail? Oh, just once before. And then what about the PCT, though, right? Yeah, I did the PCT, so this is the reverse of it that I'm doing. Well, so, thank you for all the advice you've been giving me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're amazing. <laughs> Take see care. Yeah. See ya. Day three lunch, peanut butter and jelly by... A mountain stream. This is Xavier, I've been hiking with him today. Awesome guy. He went to Pomona, but he's from New England, right? Yeah, from Maine, so. How do you feel being on the West Coast? Oh, it's really nice. Nothing like the bugs out there, but you know, it's, <laughs> it's fantastic out here. And you get to cut, Nothing you're in San Francisco? Back. Yeah, in San Francisco now, and out here for a week meeting a friend on the PCT, so. That's awesome. Super nice. Have a great hike. Thank you, Thanks. happy Father's Day. Here's a campsite for night three. There's snow on top of the peaks up there. Very cold. And this is the view we have to look at. And that's the monster we're going over tomorrow morning. We decided to camp at the camp uh, closest to Donahue Pass so that we can attack it first thing in the morning. But it's supposed to be 21 degrees tonight. So this is Andrew. Andrew's camping right next to me tonight. And uh, Andrew, it's nice to meet you. And I was cooking dinner and you came over and what'd you say to me? I was like, I think I asked you if you were a YouTuber. Because <laughs> I saw your YouTube before I actually came on the GMT. Which is pretty funny because I think you're one of three people who's actually seen my videos. So, <laughs> no, um, a good video. Oh, I'll thanks. <laughs> so um, you're hiking the GMT the same way we are, right? Exactly, yes. You're going from Happy Isles all the way up to Whitney? Yep, hopefully. <laughs> this time I'll make it all the way. That's awesome. And you did it last year, you told me? Yeah, I did it last year. Did make it all the way. I uh, bailed out at uh, Bishop Pass. Well, I know you're going to do it this year. If we got to brave some cold weather tonight, but you're going to you're going to make it. <laughs> I will do. <laughs> nice to meet you, Andrew. Likewise. Good hit, Harvey. This is a view from my tent. Night three. 